Life is traumatic. 70% of us experience traumatic events. These might be your own direct experiences or from repeated exposure, maybe through your work. These things might include abuse, neglect, natural disasters, and violence. We all learn that the world is a dangerous place through these traumatic events. Some learn I can protect myself, while others learn I can't, or it was my fault, or no one protected me. What you learn about yourself from these traumatic events depends on several factors. The age and stage you were when traumatic events occurred, the cultural messages about when bad or scary things happen, and of course, biological or physiological factors that are gonna have an influence as well. When we believe it was my fault, or I should have been able to stop it, we can get stuck in fight, flight, and freeze responses. We're always looking for the next threat. Living in that state is exhausting and can have negative effects on your health, well-being, and relationships. Give your mind and body a break with some deep breathing in a space where you know you're physically and emotionally safe. Connect with trusted friends and family members who are empathetic and compassionate. And then another thing that is helpful for a lot of people who've experienced trauma is therapy. This is one of the ways that we dismantle some of those beliefs that we came to learn about ourselves through the traumatic experience. I can't tell you how many people think that terrible things having happened to them is their fault when it's not. It is not their fault. It's the fault of the person who did the bad thing. And I have that conversation with people over and over and over again. And so one of the things that we do in therapy is really evaluate that. Where does that belief come from and how does it serve you? And in some cases, people are able to see it's what keeps me safe now. It's what stops me from doing that thing again. I'm driving down that road, walking down that back alley, going to that party where the thing happened, whatever it was, people really do find that they have a sense of control when they blame themselves for the bad thing happening because otherwise it was just random and that can be even scarier. Were you a child? Were you caught off guard? Were you incapacitated in some way? You know, these are things that absolutely we want to learn lessons from, but we don't want the lesson to be this overarching belief that I'm not safe. And so in order to do that, sometimes we use EMDR, cognitive reprocessing. Sometimes we'll couple that with some of the movement or mindfulness practices. Um, we might use some polyvagal theory and do some exercises in session to really help increase that sense of safety and integrate mind and body so that you can truly relax. Doing work around trauma is really challenging. It's hard work, but it pays off when you can live with more sense of peace. If you are struggling with thoughts about trauma, a traumatic experience that you just can't shake, please let us know. Synchronous Health has many clinical specialists who have extensive training and experience in supporting people healing from their trauma. Thank you.